What's up everyone? It's me, Lucifer here, and welcome to um, a reaction video that, uh, that I've been requested. And guess who by? You got five seconds. <laughs> yes, it's that guy again. Nightmare Ninja, or Team Yamazuki, as you like to call him. Um, but, or the official channel of Doki Doki Literature Club Player, um, which um, has been on my, um, my last video, which was the Pico for episode nine of Bang Dream. Um, told me to react to either Yuri story or the day zero of <clears throat> Yuri story or the um Sayori Day Zero story, I think it was. I think, is it? I have to look onto the channel. Um Yeah, Sayori's. Sayori's Day Zero. But I am going to go for Yuri's. I'm going to go Yuri's to start first. And then I'll react to uh, Sayori's Day Zero story. Okay. So this came out on Boxing Day of 2021. So this was recent. Um, so, yeah. Um... I mean, then you talk, told me that uh, the uh, the Euro the Euro the Yuri story was up, and then he told me, um, I think last yeah, yeah last night I think it was that um, that the Sayori story is up, so yeah. So, with all that said, um. If you want to watch the original video for yourselves, guys, then the uh, the original video will be down in the description for you to check it out. And yeah, let's do this, shall we? This is Welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club Player. Day Zero, your story. And we will get started in three, two, one, go. Fisherman's hut on one of the Lapitan Islands. My two companions, safe and sound, are at my bedside clasping my hands. We embrace each other heartily. Yuri! Just now, we can't even dream of returning to France. Travel between Upper Norway and South is limited, so we have to wait for the arrival of a steamboat that provides bi monthly service from North Cape. Yuri, where are you? So it is here, among these gallant people who've taken us in, that I'm reviewing my narrative of these adventures. It is accurate. Not a fact has been exaggerated. It's the faithful record of this inconceivable expedition into an element now beyond human, but where progress will someday... Yuri! Didn't you hear me? Oh dear. I did it again, didn't I? Sorry, Mother. It was just my book. Dear, I understand. I know how much you get into your stories, but you still have to keep an ear out for me, okay? Yes, Mother. So did you finish your work for this week? I did. And so that means? I should get a head start on next week's work. And you? always something else to do. There's always one more thing to do. That's what she's always told me. Always one more thing to do. Dinner is ready, dear. Okay, I'll be down in a moment. There's nothing quite so frustrating as being forced to put down a book with just a page left. The voice is good. Hello, my mother down. The voice is good for Yuri. Hello, Yuri. Feels like I'm seeing you for the first time today. Oh, wow. <laughs> this might actually be the first time Dad and I have talked today. 
Her dad is... I'm sorry I didn't greet you when you came home. It's quite all right, dear. We can all catch up over dinner. And speaking of which, I made your favorite tonight, Okonomiyaki. It looks like he's being fired from work and <laughs> living in depression. I begin to feel my stomach growl with anticipation. Oh, thank you so much. It smells delicious. And I promise it'll taste just as good. In spite of myself, I chuckle a bit. We set the table together and I pour everyone cups of my mother's tea brew. We begin eating and my mouth explodes in a symphony of flavor. There is no Okonomiyaki like what Dad makes. Slow down, dear, or you'll make yourself sick. Oh, dear. Was I eating too fast? I'm suddenly very aware of my parents' eyes on me. Not again. We were having a lovely dinner, and now I'm making a fool of myself and ruining it for my mother and father. You don't have to be embarrassed, Yuri. Your mother's just looking out for you, that's all. He's right. Mommy knows best. I continue eating, careful to control my pace this time. How is school going, dear? It's going fine. How about your friends? How are they doing? I... Dad looks up with an unreadable expression on his face. He looks almost sad. How about Sayori? Have you heard from her recently? Oh, Sayori, she is, well, she's doing fine. We only really see each other at the literature club. And she's always busy talking to Monica. She did mention she was going to bring someone new to the club this week. Oh, do I know her already? Well, it's a he, but you might know him. I don't know who exactly it is she's bringing. The conversation trails off. It feels like it should come to some sort of conclusion. Uh, words seem to unpoetically die in the air. Mm. We continue eating in silence. By the way, I wanted to ask... My parents' eyes return to me. Someone at school invited me to... Both my parents give me puzzled looks, and Dad smiles warmly. I was wondering if I could... Come on, Yuri, spit it out. Why is this hard to ask? Why is it hard to talk to even my own parents? If I could go... Maybe it's because part of me is scared of going. Maybe it would be easier if they just said no. I don't think that's a good idea, Yuri. School starts the next day. You'll need your rest. Honey, uh, I think we should... No! Oh, no. I spoke too loudly. <sighs> stupid. Stupid. <sighs> Calm down, Yuri. No, Dad, it's... It's alright. It was a stupid question anyways. I gather up my dishes and head to the kitchen. As I begin washing, I hear my parents in a dining room. Yuri is such a promising young lady. She doesn't need to waste her time at parties. And Sayori, bringing this boy to her club? This isn't what she needs. She does not need more distractions. Distractions? It's just another kid. He happens to be a boy. What's the harm? That kind of dynamic is only going to cause her trouble. She's doing well right now. Akane, you're stifling her. <laughs> I'm stifling her? I probably keep doors open for her. I want her to have opportunities in life. Don't you? Of course I do, but... So, work with me here. You understand that I care about her? I want to keep her options open in life too, but not just the ones that come with grades. Saito. Have you ever heard Yuri talk about a friend? Something she's done with someone else? Anything like that? My eyes begin watering. 
suddenly I realize I've let the water run in. I feel awful listening into my parents' argument, but I can't tear myself away. I turn off the water in the sink. Don't you see? She's retreated inside herself. She barely even talks to us. Being a good student isn't going to solve all her problems. Sato, Yuri is such a bright, incredible young woman. I'm trying to make sure she's able to reach what she's capable of. What good is success to Yuri if she's miserable? Dad sounds like he's going to choke up. I can't listen to this anymore. Covering my head with my sleeve, I begin running for the stairs. The voice is in the living room goes silent. I let myself fall into my bed, my head in my hands. Why do I have to ruin everything? Why does dad blame mom? This is my fault. I'm the one who can't talk to people. I'm the one who trips over the simplest exchange with another person. Please, Yuri, don't tear your parents apart. Please, please, Yuri, don't hurt them any more than you have. I need to get away, drown the noise. I need to pick up my book and stop. No, no, it won't work. The noise is too loud. I can't get away in a story right now. My knife glints invitingly from my desk. It's the blue one with the silver handle. Even today, after looking at it thousands of times, its beauty is mesmerizing. It feels like it's calling to Oh, me. God. I move towards it. The release, the escape from my troubles, and my emotions feel automatic. My fingers reach out and grasp the handle without conscious effort. Yuri? Oh no. I drop the knife and it clatters against the desk. May I come in? I, uh... Is this not a good time? No. No, please, come in. Dad enters the room. He does his best to keep his expression warm and kind, but his concern is obvious. I assume you heard your mother and me argue downstairs, didn't you? I nod, tears still in my eyes. Yuri, I hope you know that even if your mother and I don't always agree on things, we still love you very much, and we're always going to do everything we can to take care of you. Dad's eyes are misty. He looks like he just stopped crying himself. Oh dear. I guess we know where you get your sensitive side from, don't we? I smile. I manage something between a laugh and a sob. We both want you to be happy. Very much. It's... It's not her fault. That I can't talk to people. You know that, right? Dad smiles at me sadly. You don't think it's your fault that we argue, do you? I... I can't get words out. Oh, Yuri, dear. Dad wraps his arms around me. I start sobbing. It's okay, Yuri. You're okay. I promise that none of this is your fault. Do you understand? I nod slowly. Okay, dear. I have to go now. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you, Dad. Of course. Your mother and I are both here for you. If you ever need us, don't hesitate. We're your parents. It's our job to take good care of you. That wasn't a very fitting expression of what he did with his crying. That didn't suit the mood. Is that the knife from Kyoto? He gestures to the blue knife, which is now on the floor. I never saw where it fell when I dropped it. Make sure you get it off the floor, dear. Wouldn't want you cutting yourself. I lean 
means a little. Besides, you should take good care of your things. Alright, I'll be downstairs. Come get me or your mother if you need anything, okay? Okay. Dad smiles warmly and closes my door. I hastily put the blue knife back on my desk. I run my fingers along the blade. The need for release isn't as strong as before. Thank you, Dad. The noise is quieter now. I can focus again. I put the knife into my bag. My mother told me I'll need it. My book beckons from my bed. A story waiting to be concluded. I lie back down with my book and open it, answering its call. Okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're going behind the scenes, guys. Behind the scenes! Hey. There you go. That's what it took. All the uh, all the layers there, the volumes and the um all the uh, the MP3 um like files and the um the images the videos as well to play it amongst with the um with the files and everything yeah now you know what um what software they used they they use a vegas pro 13 13.0 13 <laughs> that's what it says on on there so yeah um but yeah this was interesting this was uh an interesting um video of uh day zero of yours uh i can understand i can understand this was before well well before the main game itself um like we we get to see uh yuri's parents um and well yeah you're his parents ocs um and of course the voice of yori i like the voice of yori i did i did like the voice of yori um yeah um so this was so uh, saying that um yori um is in her shell as as we all know she's in her shell um this one uh she's um well she 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 knows that the boy is coming over uh for um yeah the boy is coming over to the club and um, that's where the story begins the main story and uh, of course at the end there she finds the knife and we all we all know what happens when she starts glistening with the knife and this comes to the main story as well we all know we all know, we all know the events. We all know, we all know. So yeah, um, but yeah, um, that's going to do it uh, for the uh, my reaction of um, welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club Player Day Zero of Yuri's Story. And yeah, if you have enjoyed my reaction to this video, then make sure to hit the like button down below. If you're new to my channel and want to check out more of my videos, then you can by hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell for more updating content when I upload my next video. Uh, all of my medias will be down below in the description. Uh, you can check them out. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, if you want to watch the, radio, rig, the original video of, of this, then uh, you can by... Um, 
by going down into the description and it will be there so yeah so with all that being said guys i'll see you all in the next video doki doki